Hello, I'm host Eric, host Talk with Famous People. I'm here with host Tiffany and an uh, array of other individuals in the room. And we are talking about this topic that was brought up by Trongerol. <laughs> Trongerol is the one who says nobody likes him any, huh? He says, I would say that some have bigger tr struggles. Everyone understands how TE works, for example, but how do you want to train NE if nobody likes it? And Ken says, maybe try brainstorm, but in a game, try to make it fun. Nobody likes any. Callum asks. Train? JC asks. Like practice? JC asks. And Saren wisely points out that there's our topic. So, first of all, nobody likes any. I, I really like that sentence. It, it's it's kind of true. Because well, the reason he is. He the truth that no one wants to hear. I don't think that's why, though. I think it's more along the lines of, um, it, it's, it's, we already know what we're doing, and you're suggesting something new. We don't, we don't have time for your nonsense. Right. We don't have time for your nonsense. We're busy. We have, to, we have we're in the middle of shit, and you're suggesting that we do it differently, or changing something. And I don't want to change anything. I'm perfectly... I'm busy doing what I'm currently doing, not wanting to make sure I'm on the right path. Right? People don't like to have uh, have to go into path evaluation mode when they're in path walking mode. So I mean that is a variation. I think the way you said it, Tiffany, is one way of putting it, but it's it's a it's an especially uh, it's an especially ENTP way of putting it. Well, any is right when people don't want it to be. Well, it's like, yeah, that's right, but I don't want it to be right, so I'm going to pretend it's not. Because people have to take action, right? This is the thing. Any is not an action by itself, an action process. Any to be is fairly fortunate because with 8th slot SE we tend to be doers, we tend to do a lot of stuff, you know even though we're maybe not aware we don't really necessarily follow through on on plans or or you know, like do what we think we're going to do or say we're going to do, but we do something instead, so it, SE is not is enables us to do a lot of stuff but but that's not really how we treat other people right we don't go like oh well i i understand that you're also in the middle of doing something you know we, we tend to default towards oh you haven't considered all of this stuff and people don't necessarily love that uh i think the other issue is any takes a while sometimes to get around to his point and can wander, can wander astray from the path that it's on. So as I introduce the topic here, and it gets stretches, stretches on into the evening, <laughs> as I explain the definition of this word and that word, and have lots of positives, lots of parentheticals. But of course, if we were to consider this other alternative down here, then, and finally I say, and that's why we should order pizza. And goes, <laughs> oh, that's what you were getting around to. So, that's why I think people dislike any a little bit, but I would like to hear other people's perspectives on the dislike question before we go on to the training question. Tiffany, you're on camera. You want to go first? I, I don't have any further thoughts on the subject right now. Okay. Uh, let me look at the attendees list. Uh, Callum, you got any thoughts? Something about sheeps? Callum is from Ireland, I believe. So that means he knows about sheeps. Kukupusa? Contract under Guadalupe for seal? Scotland. Oh, oh, Scotland. Same thing, right? No, don't say that to them. Oh, no, I mean, I mean that 
that Ireland's just Scotland Junior. That's what I meant. Because Scotland's so badass compared to Ireland. That's what I meant. Uh, okay. Uh, how about you, contractor to Guadalupe for sale? The quiet power of the INFP. Uh, thank you. How about you, El, El Nado Hosto de Marco? He left, and he said he's coming back. He said no, sir. Oh, no. He said no, sir. Yeah, I see that. It's because he does not want to talk to you, Eric. He wants to talk to me, Hosto Enrico. Okay, well, Hosto Enrico, you can talk to him later. JC, what are your thoughts on this important matter? Um, I, I mean, I don't think that I, I hate, uh, or I dislike in any, much more than I dislike any other function. I, I don't really, like, I mean, there are, there are things that I like and dislike about every function. So, it's not like, oh, I dislike any, it's like, yeah, if I dislike any, then I dislike every other function as well. <laughs> I think we can all dislike SI though, because that's the thing that has makes you have to deal with a bunch of fucking boring shit. So it's mm. fair. To, it's fair to dislike SI. Yeah, but when you just suck it up and actually do that shit, it's just stuff tends to go so much better. I find the few times in my life when I buckle down on my SI shit, everything seems to work out. Well. Yeah, you're right about that, Tiffany. That doesn't mean I have to like it. It still involves buckling oh, down. It still involves buckling it. down, though. Why do things need to be buckled? And if they must be buckled, why down? Those are my questions. <laughs> you don't have to use SI for work. Like, um, there are, like, tea ceremonies and stuff. You know, and the point of it is that you're doing it in a repetitive way, and it's comforting. Yeah, but it's mm. not. It's uncomfortable. Shit like that's super uncomfortable for me. I'm trying to get my body to stay still, and I mean, I'm very fidgety. It doesn't necessarily have to be staying still. It's more like doing what is like. It's like what 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 Metabro just said. It's doing what's what's comfortable. It's kind of like. <laughs> Physical. It's not physically settled. Like, it doesn't have to be physical, I don't think. It's that yeah. cup of coffee you have in the morning at the same time, the same just, way, every day. Hang on. Yeah. That's I, a good I'm, way to describe I'm it. I'm familiar with that. I remember, in fact, one of my fondest SI experiences was always uh, waking up early in the morning and my mom would be in the family room. Drinking her French, what's it called? French cafe or something. I, I don't remember. Is this is International Foods coffee, and it's it's uh, basically half coffee and half sugar. <laughs> it's this sweet stuff that you get. It's instant coffee. Anyway, she drank that. I would drink that with her. You know, I'd have a cup. She'd have a cup. We sit there in the living room, and sometimes we sit quietly. Sometimes we talk a little bit, but. Uh, those are that was a good SI experience, but usually SI there are, just means I have to do something. There's a lot of good things about SI. It's like it's like watching your favorite movie from when you were a child. Like that's fun. Like who hates that? No one hates that or dislikes that. That's like ah, I'm watching my favorite movie. I love this movie. That's comforting. <laughs> Hey, dog, stop. I do like to watch some. Well, I mean, I like to watch the, uh, the Peanuts. The Peanuts uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas thing. Because those were always on when I was a kid. You know, and the Great Pumpkin. When they, the Great Pumpkin comes as well. I like those old ones. But... I mean, I don't spend hardly any time doing it. I guess that's the thing. Is my SI is really deprioritized in some ways. Or it's been 
revamped into this abstract process. Which I don't know if you can I have do a, that. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. I have a sister who's an INFP, so mobilizing SI, and she she has these like little weird little rituals that sometimes come out, and like she'll play the same game again and again, like more than I would expect someone to, because she like likes certain parts of it, so she. She just goes for those parts or something. Or she'll watch the same movie again and, and insist on it being watched a certain way or something. So. Did she have a good childhood? I, yeah, it's pretty good. That's good. Uh, That's, you had an INTJ and an INFP in the family, huh? Do you have any other siblings? INFJ. I think ESFJ, ESFP. That's about it. Oh, big... uh, INTP, ENFJ. That those are your siblings? No, the last two were parents. Oh, that's a lot of siblings, though. Sisters. A... All sisters. Yeah. Were, and they're were... all different types. Wait, I forgot one. Uh, ESTJ. How many si siblings do you have? Five sisters. My goodness. Mega Bro and the Five Sisters is a great name for a Broadway play. <laughs> That's what makes you the Mega Bro, huh? Now I understand <laughs> your name finally. You are the Mega Bro. All right. You've got five sisters, and each of them only has one brother. They're replaceable, but you're... <laughs> there's only one of you. <laughs> you're the shiny Pokemon of the family. Yes, <laughs> exactly. It, was that Ken who brought the whimsy? Was Ken wielding his yeah. whimsy stick? Oh. I'm trying to keep it alive. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh... Okay, well that's really interesting, Meg. How was that? Were they, are they within age ranges? So they were all, all six of you were in the house at one time at any point. Oh. Possibly, but not very long. Yeah. Yeah. Are you the Are you the youngest one? Second oldest. Second oldest. Oh. I thought they kept trying, and finally they had a boy. I thought your 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 dad killed the wives that wouldn't bear sons, and then finally they had you. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so, so I, did we come? Uh, uh. Are we like continuing on all these different topics? Or are we finishing SI being not always negative, NE being hated? Oh yeah, that's the topic. I remember now. Yeah. Uh, well, that's why people hate NE. You see, it, NE takes the topic of NE, and it becomes Mega Bro and his five sisters, <laughs> <laughs> and a Broadway play that we're gonna put on. You guys are all part of the show. You guys can start auditioning for which part you want right now. Who wants to play Mega Bro? <laughs> Mega Bro, if you want to be Mega Bro in the play, you have to audition for the part. Okay, you, have, you don't automatically get the part just because you are Mega Bro. Doesn't mean you're the best person to play a Mega Bro in the play. Calum's gonna be a bush. Okay, Nandi, you're gonna be host Eric, and then <laughs> JC. You're going to be Ken, and Ken, you're going to be Nandi. <laughs> Mega Bro is going to... Mega Bro is going to be Trondral, and Trondral is going to be Contract Under Guadalupe First Seal, and Contract Under Guadalupe First Seal is going to be the director. Everybody got that straight? <laughs> Alright, so that's why See, people that's hate why, me. <laughs> no, that's why people like me because it's so freaking funny, like, 
All right. Well, you think that's funny. You just wait until the Broadway play comes out. Everybody, as long as I'm in this video right now, we're going to start practicing. So um, be prepared. I, I've got the music almost all written already. Thanks for watching.